Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, y'all, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top body mist for the springtime. So if you guys would like to see all the body mist that I think would be perfect for the springtime, then keep on watching. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Oshimari. It is so nice to meet you. On this channel, I talk about all things smell good. So if you're into smelling good, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you are a returning viewer, hey, it is so good to see you. All right, you guys, so I had so much fun getting these body mists together. There's a few that I didn't include in here, but we're gonna have some more spring-inspired videos coming up. So if you don't see the ones that you love in this one, you just might see them in one of my upcoming videos. So the first body mist that I think would be perfect for the springtime is one that you can really wear all year round, but I love pulling it out around the springtime. And this is Fall in Bloom. And this is the packaging that they just came out with at the end of last year, like in the fall time. And y'all, this smells so beautiful. Oh, it's a little juicy, it's a little sparkly. If you love you some Burberry Her, the original or the toilet, then you will love this one because it smells to me mainly like the first one, like the original one, but it has whiffs of the toilet in there too. So I don't really know which way they were trying to go, but either way, they got that Burberry Her DNA down in this one and it is just, so beautiful so if you're not familiar with this one this one has notes of juicy plum there's some wild blooms in here and you have some velvet moss and oh it just smells like a whole lot of berries to me it's got that sexy plum in here this is the type of body mist that i'm going to be pulling for on like summer date nights spring date nights oh because it just it smells effortlessly beautiful mm -hmm. so I think that it's gonna be so nice as it's starting to get a little hot outside. Even when there's like a chill in the air, it's gorgeous. So once again, this is Fall in Bloom. Next up, we have Beautiful Day. And this is the packaging from, I think two years ago, because the one that they just came out with, that one is like, it's got like some flowers on top of it or or something like that. But y'all, it smells the same. And it is, so, oh, this is so good. So in the springtime, I really don't want anything that's overly juicy. Like I don't want super, super fruity just yet, right? I want a mix between like juiciness, a little florals, maybe like, you know, some musky notes, like a very clean type of fragrances. And this is kind of all that in one. It's mainly apple forward. You get a whole lot of the apple when you first spray it. Then you also get the floral notes in here. And then I think there's some type of like clean musk yeah and that apple in here is super juicy if you love you a good apple fragrance apple body mist then you have to have this one in your rotation mixed with the wild daisies pink peony you have some sparkling cassis and you also have fresh woods it's a juicy floral leaning fragrance versus like a floral juicy fragrance so once again this is beautiful day another juicy fresh type of fragrance is gingham fresh and this is the one with the pear note in here Oh, y'all, the pear in here is so pretty. Oh, yeah. It's so beautiful. It really is a blend of the juiciness and the floral notes, but it's a very soft type of fragrance. Mm, very refreshing, you know? Oh, this one is really nice. So this one has juicy pear, sparkling clementine, and fresh daisies so the clementine gives it this like brightness but it's not overly like orangey or tangy or anything like that it really is all about the pear in here and those daisies super crisp just yummy a little mouth watering and this one pairs really nicely with i don't know if you guys can see it but back there i have the paris corner pear potion those two go really nicely together oh yeah so once again this is gingham fresh and this one came out last spring so usually in the springtime i'm not like diving deep into coconut fragrances but i'm still starting to somewhat crave them a little bit but i don't want to like overly do it and then by the time the summer comes i'm like i don't want to smell no coconuts and right now when i need me just a little coconut in my life i love pulling for this one and this is meet me in miami and y'all this smells very similar to coco paradise which i really wanted to put in this video but i'm trying to wait until the summertime to pull that one out and put it in a video but this one oh golly it's so creamy this one smells like like palm trees it's like a little bit more breezy so oh 
Mm, starting to go to the park or the beach and lay out in the sun. This is kind of giving me that kind of a vibe. Oh my gosh, y'all, I hope y'all didn't miss out on this one. If you did, you know it's probably on eBay, Macari, something like that, but y'all, this one is so nice. So this one has notes of breezy palm trees, cabana colada, and sun tan days. And you do get like the sun tanniness in here. You know how everybody doesn't like some coconut fragrances because it has that like sun tanny vibe in it. Coco Paradise, I don't really get the suntanness at all. This one, you do get that a little bit. So if you don't like the, what did I say, suntan? Sunscreenness. If you don't like that, then you may not be the biggest fan of this, but y'all, I think this is so crowd pleasing. It is so pretty. Woo! If you love a coconut, a good coconut, just a yummy, creamy, breezy type of coconut, then this has got to be in heavy rotation in spring because it's good, it is good, good. So once again, this is Meet Me in Miami. Staying along those somewhat kind of like coconutty vibes, this is Pastel Skies. Y'all, I love this fragrance. I think I talk about this one in almost every body mist video because it is just, it is so nice. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, I miss this y'all. So it's got this like, I think there's coconut in here. Then you have this like spun sugar. It also has this like, clean type of feeling to it too it is so nice oh i love this one this one has notes of soft cloud berries pink sponge sugar and coconut musk so that's what it is in here it's probably the musk in there that's kind of giving this a coconutty clean sugary type of feel this is almost kind of like a gourmand too not like full-on gourmand but because of that sweetness the sponge sugar in here you're kind of getting this like touch of like sugariness mm, that's like slightly leaning into the gourmand category without being like full-on gourmand in my opinion but yeah this one is nice this one is so nice and i haven't done my body mist tray for march yet but i think i'm gonna add this one onto it because this is just so pretty and it's just very airy it's sweet it's coconut, but not overly coconutty. And it's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. So once again, this is Pastel Skies. All right, so getting into some of the sweeter type of body mist. So y'all know I love me a good gourmand. And so I had to sneak some on that weren't like full on gourmand, you know, but I know it's not getting hot everywhere. You know, I'm sure it's still really cold some places. It may even be snowing some places. You know, I'm in Southern California, so we get a mix of everything. I think this week it's in the high 60s and 70s. So it's starting to warm up, you know, slowly but surely. So I really can get away with any type of body mist. If it's floral and fruity, that goes. But then if it's also super sugary, sweet and gourmand, that also goes. But this next one, I was inspired by the candle that came out and some other stuff that came out from Victoria's Secret. And this is Bubble Gum Pop, y'all. And I wanted to kind of wait until the summer to pull this one out because that's when I like wearing all of my super sweet fragrances along with my juicy fragrances. It's so sweet. And so they came out with this one a couple years ago. Oh my gosh. And it, it smells literally like tape bubble gum. Mm, but there's also some something else in here. I think there's like a citrus note in here that keeps it from being just pure bubble gum, but it really does smell mostly like bubble gum. So in this one, you have gumball sugar, candied fruits, and citrus burst. Okay, so yes, yeah, that citrus burst that gives it a little extra, like if this was tape bubble gum that was like a citrus type of tape bubble gum, that's what this would smell like. And it's just fun. I think this would be fun, a little flirty, and just really nice to just throw on if you're not going to anything too serious and you just want to smell super sweet you're craving you know your gourmands again you really can't go wrong with this one and you can pair this one with other things that maybe are way too strong and you kind of just want to add some sweetness to it this will be really nice for that oh you can also add this to some of your vanillas and kind of give it like a extra touch of sweetness Woo! I really do like it. So I will be rocking it this spring and I think y'all should too. Once again, this is Bubblegum Pop. Next up, we have one that I fell in love with kind of around the end of last year. I wasn't really that big on it when it first came out around this time last year, but now I'm like, oh, I wish I would've got a backup of it because it is so pretty. And this is Sweet Petal Pound Cake, y'all. So this one was overshadowed by Iceman Pound Cake because that one, it was just like, everybody was loving it because it was exactly the type of gourmand that we've been, you know, looking for from Bath & Body Works. This one, oh gosh. 
This one is for sure, like you get the pound cake in here, but it's mostly, think of like a cake with petals on top, like some type of rose petals or just some type of flower petals. That's what it smells like. And this is just so sweet. Almost reminds me kind of like a, not doesn't smell like a dupe or anything, but has the same type of airy sweetness as like a Sabrina Carpenter sweet tooth. It's kind of like along the same lines as that. So if you're not familiar with this one, this one has notes of candied rose, raspberry swirl, and frosted bun cake. You get a lot of the raspberry. I always forget about that candied rose that's in here. I love me a good rose note. I know rose is not for everyone, but this one is like a sweetened type of rose. It's not like a rose, it's like a rose petal. It really is a candied like type of rose. This is so perfect from transitioning from the colder season to the hotter season like it's not overly gourmand it's not overly floral it's just perfect y'all it's perfection in a bottle and i can't wait to get a little bit more use out of it in the springtime so once again this is sweet petal pound cake next up we have poppy and y'all this one smells just like mark jacobs perfect it is so gorgeous Mm hmm you have to love you some florals to like this one but this also has some juicy notes in it as well this one has notes of fresh morning dew wild poppies sugared rhubarb and juicy pear oh you get a lot of the rhubarb in here and a lot of the poppies oh yeah so you have to love you a good like kind of like tart type of fragrance because of the rhubarb you know when there's rhubarb or lychee in anything it's a very distinct note so if you like fragrances that have all those type of notes in it, then nine times out of 10, you will like this one. And it has really good longevity to it. So you can just wear this one by itself. It's also a little refreshing too, which I love a good refreshing, just airy type of body mist in the springtime. So this one is, if you know about Poppy, you know you gotta pull it out right now. So if you have it, pull it out. Once again, this is Poppy. Next up, we have a newer fragrance that came out like a couple weeks ago and this is water lily springs and y'all know i fell in love with this one on screen oh y'all it is so so beautiful i've been pairing this with a whole bunch of things too and it really does go with so many spring fragrances y'all it doesn't have to just have lily in it or like watery notes you can really just top this one off and it's just gonna add this touch of just beautiful softness to anything mm-hmm but yeah I love me lilies. Oh, my husband just got me some lilies and they just died. So <laughs> I'm probably gonna spray this around the house as well. And then I'll spray my like sheets. And I mean, of course I'm gonna use this on my body and whatnot too, but it just smells like beautiful lilies and it's a little aquatic and I just, I really do like it. So this one has notes of dew kiss lilies, crisp waters and clean musk. Oh, I really do love it. Dew drops and anything. Dew drops. Again, musk. Any slight floral notes. Perfection for the springtime. <laughs> this almost kind of smells more clean water aquatic leaning than lily floral forward. But it is a mix between watery, oceanic type of notes and the florals in here. So if you like both of those, you don't want something that's overly florally or overly aquatic, then this is a really nice balance of the two. And body mists like these are gonna get you pumped up and ready for all of our aquatic, watery type of notes that we're gonna be rocking all throughout the summertime. So once again, this is Water Lily Springs. Next up, we have a beautiful powdery type of fragrance, and this is Butterfly. And y'all, I... <sighs> I don't know where I was when this came out, but I didn't get into this one until a couple months ago. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. If you love a touch of powderiness, oh, that smells like a perfume. This is so gorgeous, y'all. So this one has notes of raspberry nectar, iris petals, and airy vanilla. Oh, the raspberry note is super prominent in here, mixed with that vanilla. And then it's all just wrapped in this cloud of iris, you know? Oh, which gives it just this like fluffy, airy powderiness. It's really, really pretty and it's really perfect for the springtime. I don't really wear this one any other time. You can wear whatever you want to wear whenever you, you know, get the feeling to wear it. 
but I mostly like pulling this out for the springtime. I mean, you could wear this in the summertime too, but mainly I think it's perfect for right now. So once again, this is Butterfly. Okay, so this next one I had to sneak in because I know that this has nothing to do with the springtime, but y'all, y'all know I need me a good sweet sugary type of fragrance up in here. So this is another Gourmand, y'all, and this is Isomy Pound Cake, because why not? Girl, why not? I love me some cakey type of fragrances and you know they're coming out with it again they already have the is it the hand soap i think it's the hand soap they have the hand soap out and the body care and the candle hopefully is coming out right after that but oh this smells so good oh my god it smells like a super moist ice lemon pound cake with a whole lot of icing on top it's rich it's decadent but because it's still like got this zestiness to it because of the lemon i feel like it's appropriate any time of the year so why not you know i can't wait until they come back out with this because i never got the candle last year so i'm hoping that they come out with it and they need to hurry up and come out with it because i really just want the whole house to smell zesty and yummy like ice lemon pound cake and girl if you are dating when i was dating i would always have some type of gourmand type of candle going on when my husband would come over if they had this out then i would have had this one going too because men love sugary sweet bakery type of scents and it just makes your home feel a little bit cozier you know so if you have this candle and you're dating or you are dating and you don't have the candle girl go ahead and get it and just have it on you know every now and then when he comes over and i bet you he's gonna be like oh i just girl i never want to leave you oh well, you know maybe not you but maybe you know he just doesn't want to leave your house okay once again this is ice lemon pound cake super sugary sweet and delicious okay so now we're gonna get into some freshies and oh this is another coconut not overly coconut but it's like a fresh type of coconut and this is fresh coconut and cotton y'all now so this one came out about a year ago and i think that they relaunched it since then i'm not sure but y'all this one oh my goodness it is so nice oh this is so comforting if you love those type of fragrances that smell like your skin but better you know like you just got out the shower or you're just a super fresh and clean type of person i think you would adore this fragrance definitely get the coconut in here but there's also some type of like breezy airiness about it along with like that clean note of the cotton so in this one you have notes of coconut coastal breeze and beachside coconut so yeah, it's just like a clean take on coconut and it is so beautiful you can wear it whenever i would mainly wear this one fresh out the shower running errands this would also be a really nice gym scent i love zesty scents for the gym as well as like fresh coconut cotton type of fragrances as well because it's not offensive to anyone you know you don't want to make the person on the treadmill or the elliptical or the weight set next to you pass out because you just overspray like girl don't be obnoxious in the gym <laughs> wear what you want but if you wear like something fresh and airy like this this is just going to be a really nice pleasant surprise to anyone who was in the gym and they're just smelling all these sweaty musky people this will be perfect for that so i can't get enough of it this is on my perfume tray for the month of March, once again, this is fresh coconut and cotton. Another one that I haven't talked about enough that is also on my Body Miss March perfume tray is Lovely Dreamer, you guys. And oh, so I think this one, did this one come out during SAS? I think it was around that time that it came out. Oh my gosh, y'all. So to me, this has this like clean type of smell to it. But you know fragrances that kind of have that like lipsticky type of vibe to them this kind of has that or is it like nail polish one of those but y'all know what i'm talking about i feel like c fiori the soft one in like the pink type of bottle like the pink frosted bottle it kind of has that same undertone to it this one has notes of fluffy musk clean woods white iris and fresh bergamot i mainly get that musk for sure the fluffy musk those clean woods and it is a bit powdery, so that iris definitely does come through as well. It's another like your skin, but better. Effortlessly beautiful, unoffensive, easy breezy, and very comforting. Okay, so I didn't realize I had all these coconut fragrances in here, but this is another one that's like not super predominantly coconut. And this is Love Always Wins, y'all. So this one has notes of golden star fruit, fresh coconut water, and cedar wood heart. I don't know what no cedarwood heart smells like, but I really want to play around with this one this spring, mix it and match it with other body mist and other perfumes and 
oh just build some memories with it because this is a little sexy it's a little flirty but subdued at the same time and she's really nice so if you have her i would say pull her out once again this is love always wins next up we have pure wonder and this smells like all of your favorite fragrances that you love that smell like prada paradox um viva la juicy Donna Born Aroma, it has that DNA of all of those beautiful, girly, sparkly type of fragrances that we love. Yes, but this is in a body mist form, you know? Amazing longevity, sexy, just flirty type of date night type of fragrance. Pure wonder, y'all. She, she that girl. Whatever that girl means, I think that this is what... It smells like it's sparkly it's crowd pleasing and like i said if you love any of those donna born aromas prada paradox then this is literally the body mist version of all of those so once again this is pure wonder next up we have another gingham and this is gingham gorgeous and y'all this one has that strawberry note in here oh that is so pretty it's not overly fruity oh my goodness but the strawberry in here is really, really pretty. So in this one, you have notes of pink strawberry, pink nectar, and peony blooms. Oh, I love me a good peony note. This one, I think I was pairing it with Good Girl Blush when I first got that, and they go so nicely together. So if you have that, I would say pair this one with that. That would be a perfect spring combination. So once again, this is Gingham Gorgeous. Speaking of a peachy type of note, we have pretty as a peach and this one I don't wear any other time other than the springtime very very dominant on that peach I think I told y'all in another video it has this weird undertoneness to you know what it smells like it smells like picking peaches in a garden and picking it off of a stem so you're getting that like greenery type of note in here which kind of throws me off a little bit but it is very literal so if you don't mind the greenness in here, along with that juicy peach, then I think you would like this. Also have some apples in here. There's some nectarine. Mm, did I say jasmine? I think there's some jasmine in here. Let's see, you have peach, jasmine petals, white nectarine, apple blossom, and sheer freesia. So it's floral, it's a little fruity. I just pull a whole lot of the peach in here and all the mother knows, I mean, they're in the background somewhere, <laughs> but mainly, it's about the peach. So if you love you a good peach, like a literal type of peachy type of fragrance, then Pretty as a Peach is perfect for right now. Next up, we have White Tea and Ginger. And this is one that they used to have back in the day and then they brought it back during, I think, SAS this past summer. Oh, and I love it. Oh, this is so refreshing, y'all. Oh, it's a little cooling and crisp. And imagine all of our tea fragrances. Oh, like imagine um, the new Green Stravaganza that came out. It's got that, what is it? Lip Sang Sushang tea in it, which is like a black tea. But pairing it with this along with the ginger, I bet you that would be so good, y'all. It's a little mature leaning, but I don't know. It's just, it's just something about it that is just perfection for right now. So this one has notes of white tea leaves, sparkling yuzu, peach bergamot, geranium petals, and a hint of ginger. They lied about that hint of ginger. It's a whole lot of ginger up in here. This would be another one that I would say would be perfect for date night. I think I was also mixing this one with, what is it called? Um, Burberry Goddess, because that one, does that one have a tea note in it? I can't remember, but it has ginger in it. And these two are really, really nice for the springtime. Oh, that's another good combination for the spring. So if you have this one, I would say pull it out because I cannot wait to start wearing it this spring. Oh yeah, that is really, really pretty. So once again, this is white tea and ginger. And last but not least, we have carried away. And y'all, okay, so when I first got this one, I was just, I wasn't really that impressed with it. I was like, that's okay. Oh, but y'all, I was so wrong. It is so nice. The raspberries in here, y'all, is so beautiful along with the vanilla. That's mainly what I pull when I smell it and on my skin. In fact, I kind of want to put this one on because this one is just so good for right now, y'all. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. It's like, it's so feminine and girly and just, oh my goodness, y'all. This is so beautiful. It just, it smells very, very beautiful. Like if this one was called beautiful, it would have fit so perfectly 
it has this whipped like feel to it and like this breeziness i'm getting the floral notes in here but that vanilla oh and the raspberry is mainly what i'm smelling this one would be perfect for netflix and chilling or just anything super calming and chill like that it's sweet it's a little creamy and y'all this is going to hit this spring oh i hope you have it if you have it when did this one come out I think this one came out during winter semi-annual so i have this and i got a backup i got the backup to give away i never gave it away though i'm kind of happy i didn't because i'm happy that i have that backup because she is really really soft feminine and gorgeous so once again this is carried away all right you guys so that is it those are all of the body mists that i think would be perfect for the springtime and y'all there's a lot that i didn't put on this list i think i even cut this list short i was gonna have five more in this video and then child i, I couldn't smell nothing else anymore so comment down below and let me know what body mist are you guys looking forward to pulling out oh i'm really excited about pastel skies that one is so beautiful. I could just wear that one all spring and I would be good to go, but we know that would be a lie. I'm wearing all of these body mists. If you guys did like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. Turn on your post notifications if they're not on. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And as usual, take care of yourself. God bless you all. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.